Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and welcome to the free CAD mini series for the Curve Workbench. In this series, we are looking at the Curve Workbench and the tools within there and how to use them. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the blend surface, the discretized edge and the segment surface to create such objects in FreeCAD as this pipe here and this one here. We'll be using the part workbench to create tubes, segment out those surfaces and blend them together to connect them as one. We'll also be working with the surface workbench in FreeCAD to fill in voids using the surface tool. And also we'll be using the split curve as well as the discretized curve to fix certain arrows in there. So I hope you're enjoying this free cab mini series for the Curve Workbench and let's have a look at this tutorial. If you like this video, please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel. I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. So let's have a look at the tool and understand how it works. I'm going to create a new document and jump into the Curve Workbench. We're going to be using the blend surface and the discretized edge. We're also going to be using the segment surface as well. For a first demonstration, we're going to learn how to segment a surface into a number of faces and the reasons why you would want to do that. Let's take a simple plane. So in the part, I'm going to use the great geometry primitives here and use the plane, simple plane like that. I'm going to create three of them. Close that. And I'm just going to hide those two planes. So we've got this single plane here, which I want to segment. The reason why I would want to segment that face is because if I bring back the other planes and transform them, and transform the other, Place a bit of angle on this. Reason why I would want to segment this is that I may want to attach a surface between these two shapes on the same edge. So at the moment I can connect this shape to this edge with a blend surface by coming over to the curves workbench and blending the surface between those. So if I select this face, control select the edge Control select the edge, control select the face, and use the blend surface or surface, blend surface, and that creates a surface between them. I can do that the same on the other side. So this is your first selection, control select the face, control select the edge. This is your second selection, control select the edge, control select the face. Doesn't matter if you're selecting edges and faces, as long as you're selecting an edge and the face of your first selection and an edge of the face of your second selection. And use the blend. And we've got that surface blended between them. And they're separate surfaces, so they're separate objects there. We've got continuity down here, which I will go into in another video. We just need to know that we can blend surfaces between these. Because we're concentrating on the discretized edge there, can learn how to use that. So we've blended these faces together. But what happens if I take out these faces? Reduce the size of this to five. The same on this side. So what happens if I wanted to place a surface between both of these faces here, both these planes, this one and this one, and this plane here, but using this edge here. Well, I can't because at the moment we've only got one edge and we need to connect from one face, let's do this one over here, one edge to one face and one edge and blend those between like so. But I can't blend this one onto this edge because it's already taken up. 
So we need to split this face into two. So I'm just going to take this plane and transform it over here. So I want to connect this edge with this edge and this edge with this edge, but we need two edges. So I'm in the Curves Workbench, and what I need to do is take this edge or this edge and use the Discretize tool. So let's discretize that edge into a number of points along here. Come down to the discretize edge. Look at the number. And let's change this to two. So at the moment we've got two points sit on the corners of that face there. So we need three. And that will place three points along there. Let's bring up the point size so we can see what's happening. Come down to point color, point size, bring that up to six. You can see those points sitting along there. Now we've got that discretized edge. We can divide up this plane. Click on the plane. And there's an option here saying segment surface or up to surface, segment surface. That segmented that surface now. And inside that we've got our plane sitting there, which has been hidden. If we click on the segmented surface, come down to the data, you'll notice an option there. And at the moment it's auto. Let's drop this down, click on custom. We've got some custom options now. And these options allows us to change the U provider of the knots and the V provider of the knots. U will go one way and V will go the other way. So let's click on the U and using the three dots on the end, that this little button, we can come in and click the discretize edge. Hit OK. It looks like it hasn't done anything. When we click off, that has divided that face into two. So now we can click the face, troll click the edge, troll click the edge and the face and create a surface between. And we can do the same on the other side. And create the surface between. We've blended those surfaces onto those two faces there. We can change the amount of faces just by coming to the edge, coming to the number. If we increase this by five, then you can see we've got five faces there. We can also come back into the surface and add the feed provider and use the same edge if we so desire, or even a different edge. Okay, that, and now that's divided that into a grid of faces. Just be careful because our blend surface will need to be changed to the correct edges on here. So where is this useful? Well, let's get rid of these blend surfaces and let's get rid of the whole lot and start from scratch. This is quite useful when it comes to bodies like cylinders, so more complex body. If I jump over to the part workbench and create three cylinders in here, and we're going to transform these cylinders. And rotate them and do the same with the other one and we're going to place them close to each other so we can see this being used to connect up something like a a box kite, a Wendy house where you have this T-junction there, a tent, poles of the tent will come in and connect up and this will be connected in the middle. So how do we connect these faces? We we'll should use the same method, come into the Curves Workbench. The first thing we need to do is segment out these faces here. 
to click on your object. Use the segment surface. It's quite a segmented surface there and do the same for all the rest. Now we've got those segmented surfaces. Let's get rid of the cylinders. And you can see we have shells of those cylinders there. We now have to take an edge and discretize that edge. So click on that edge, use the discretize tool, click on this edge, do the same, and this edge. Now remember if we're going to create a surface across here, we need to divide these up into equal faces. So I'm going to use four on each of these. So for that, remember we use the discretize edge. So I'm going to control select all those and change those as one. So I'm going to come down and change those to four points. And also highlight those, come into the view, point size, and I'm going to bring that up to about eight. So we can see where those are. At the moment, because I've done that, I've actually caused myself a bit of issue. Because we've got our discretized edge and our segmented surface, I won't be able to connect this segmented surface up to this discretized edge because it will create a circular reference. And we can see that when we click on the segmented surface, come into data, option to custom, come down to the knots and try to select the discretized edge. We've only got one and two in there. So let's cancel that. And we can't pull this surface out because that won't allow us to actually drop that higher up because it's parametric. So when we create our discretized edges, let's get rid of them, bring back the surfaces, make sure you create them from the cylinders. Let's bring back the cylinders, pressing spacebar to unhide those, make those visible, highlight those as segmented surfaces, hide them, then we've got our cylinder back. And now we get the discretized edges out of these cylinders. So I've selected all the cylinders, all those edges there, and use the discretized edges. And we get those three edges coming out. I can select all those three edges, change the number to four. And now we can see, going into view, the point size, bring that up to something like eight. We can see those points there. Now, when we bring back our segmented surfaces, so I've clicked one, shift click the top one, press space, and our cylinders are actually sitting inside here, so we can hide these if we so desire. Open that one up, control select that one, press the space. We can now select that surface, which is segment surface, come into the U provider, discretize edge, okay that, click off and you can see that's now segmented that surface correctly. And we do the same for this one. Option, custom, U provider, and this one is surface 01, so it's the edge 001. And we do the same for this one. Option, custom. If you accidentally select the V provider and use the edge there, then it will go this way. We'll cut along this way, which we don't want. So just come back in, click your surface and just click on that button on the end, hit clear, hit OK, come into the Knots U provider, and use that edge. Now we can link up the surfaces on here, but you've probably already guessed that we'll end up with a hole in the middle. And we'll do all of that in a minute. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to select this face, this edge, this edge, and this face, and 
click the blend surface. Let's create a blend surface between those. And we're going to do the same with this face, this edge, this edge, and this face. Blend that. And the same with this edge, this face, this edge, and this face. Blend that. You can see the hole we have in there. We'll deal with that in a minute. Let's flip this around. And do the same. This edge, this face. Let's let this face and this edge. Different way of selecting them. But it still doesn't matter. Still adds them in. And this face, this edge, this face, this edge. Blend those. This face, this edge. Select the edge this time and this face. Show it doesn't matter. There we go. So that's all blended in. But we've got this void here. So we need to fill this void. To do that, come over to the surface workbench. And I'm just going to quickly save this. And I'm going to fill this with a surface. We can use either or of these surfaces. I'm going to use this one here. It creates a surface from two, three, or four boundary edges and hit add edge and we need to work round so select this edge select the next edge that connects up to it so this one here and then it looks a bit weird here but don't worry about that select this edge and you can see that's not actually working if I hit OK it's coming up curves are disjointed if you get that error then it's either the selection you selected Let's cancel that. Let's try that again. Add edge. This one here. This one here. And this one here. And you can see that's connected up correctly now. If you still have problems, then it's worth using the split tool to split that edge into two and then trying it with that. So you can use that edge to create the surface across there. Hit OK. Let's flip this over and do the same on the other side. Let's use the other tool this time. Come in here, add an edge, click, click, and click. That's added that in there perfectly, hit OK. So we've got two different surfaces there. It doesn't matter, we still get the same effect. I'm gonna make this solid, so I'm gonna close up these ends here as well. And come in, click, on the surface, add edge, and click on these edges. Close that one up, hit OK. Bring this around, do the same, add edge. Click on these edges, working our way around the circle. OK, bring this around again, the last one. And Add a surface, add an edge, add, edge, 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 and edge. Okay, so that's a fully closed shape, but it's not as solid as of yet. It's just a number of surfaces. Let's go back into the curse workbench and let's make this a solid. So to do that, we can use the parametric solid there. And it gives you some information there. Try to build a solid from the selected faces. If not possible, it falls back to a shell, then to a compound. So faces also mean surfaces. So let's click the bottom surface, work our way all the way up to the top. Click this top blend surface. We've got all those selected. We still need to select some more. So I can use the control now and hold that down and select those three. I think we've got them all. And then click parametric solid. See what's happened. Everything's been hidden except for these edges so let's just hide those edges as well. Press the spacebar on those edges and we've got our solid there. And we know that's a solid because if we come into the part and if I union this with say a sphere transform that sphere and just move it to 
around about there. Okay, that. And click solid. Well, it's face, click the solid. Control click the sphere. And do a union of those two shapes. You can see they union together with a fusion. Let's get rid of that fusion by hitting delete on it. And that's this time. Click the solid, which I want to keep. Control click the sphere. And then click the make a cut of two shapes. And you can see that's not hollow in there, that's solid. So we've created a solid there from a number of surfaces. But what happens if we wanted to hollow this out? Because what we would normally do is come in and select this face here and use the thickness tool. Utility apply thickness. And you can see, the minute I click on it, click pipe, OK, we get a B rep API command, not done. So there is a way around that, and that is to create a tube and use two faces on there. So use the inner and outer face to create a pipe throughout that. So to create this as a pipe, I'm going to create a new document and start from scratch. I'm going to create a new document. And this time we're in the part and I'm going to use the tube. So create a tube in there in a radius, let's say four millimeters. So we've got our tube there and I'm going to copy this and paste it. Control C, Control V. So we've got three tubes. Right click transform and Let's go to the front and just transform this around and place it out to about here. Okay, that. And what I'm going to do is take the other tube, right click, transform, and bring this around and transform this out. So we've got our tubes and we want to create a surface between them. I'm just going to just do a bit of adjustment here. So I'm going to start with the inner part. And I'm going to repeat the process by creating a blend surface between the inner part and a blend surface between the outer part. And then we're going to surface the sides. To do that, jump over to the Curves Workbench. And I'm going to select that inner part here. Use the Segment Surface on there. And work my way around using the Segment Surface on the inner parts of these tubes. I'm going to deal with one part of the tube first, just the inner parts. And then we'll deal with the outer parts after we've finished. We've got our segmented surfaces. Just hide those, so we will select the edge of this tube, the inner part, and use the discretize tool there. So select the inner part of that edge there, and also we'll do it for the other edges as well. Come in, select that. We could even select the back edge because they're the same, but it's best practice to select the edge that you're going to connect to. So selected all those edges, come up and use the discrete eyes, I've pulled all those edges out and inside you can see those tubes. So click those tubes, control click them and hide them, we don't need those anymore. Those discrete eyes edges, we need to change those so select them all, come down to number, select four on there, so we've got four points on each, bring back the segmented surfaces press spacebar to make those visible and then take each of those segmented surfaces and change the option from auto to custom so I'm going to control click all those select it all three and change this to custom and click off and click one not you provider come in select 
the correct edge for that segmented surface, which is discrete R edge two. Okay. Click this one. Segmented surface, not you provider. And that was discretized the edge. Okay. And the last one, not you provider on surface 001. So this will be edge 001. Okay, that. So those are all split up now. And then we do the same with the blend surface. So click, control click, click, control click, blend, click, control click, control click, control click, blend. Blend those. It's one side done. Come around. And we will do the other now. Well and down control, selecting those edges and faces. Blend those. Face, edge, edge, base, blend, face, edge, edge, face, blend. And I'm just going to save this. Always save this before you move on to the surface workbench because I find sometimes, depending on what machine I'm, I'm on, the surface workbench has a tendency to crash out. So let's select our surface, add edge, click edge, click this edge, this one, okay that, and flip this around. Do the same on this side. So create a surface, add edge, this edge, this edge, and this one. Okay, I'm not going to close the ends of these. Now, what we want to do is I'm going to hide all these surfaces and these discretized edges here. Matter of fact, I need that tube there. So let's press space on there and bring the tubes back. This tube and in the hidden in this discretized edge here, that tube. And now we're going to segment the top surfaces. Let's jump into curves, click the tops and segment top. Segment, top, segment. And we've got those segmented surfaces down here. Just highlight all those three and hide them because we need the edges. So this edge here, this edge, see we can chop and change between those. So that edge, that edge, and this edge, as long as it's the tops. Come in. Discretize those. Click the edges, change the numbers to four. Now that doesn't look like it's work. That's because we still got the tubes showing. Let's take those away and bring back the surfaces. So those surfaces, now I've got to match those two. So surface five, it's auto option. Click custom, come down to the knots you provider. Surface five to edge five. Edge five, okay. That's that one done, this one. Surface free to edge free. Option, custom, new provider, 
edge free. There's edge free. And surface four custom to edge four. Not shoe provider. And edge four. So it's all done. Now we need to blend the surfaces between them. So again, it's the same process of selecting faces and edges from the different surfaces there. Making sure you hold down the control between them to multi-select. And same on this side, face, edge, edge, face. Use the blend surface tool. That's one side done. Flip it around to the other side and face, edge, edge, face, blend, face, edge, edge, face, blend, and this one here, face, edge, edge, face, and blend. So now we've got those. We've got to deal with the shape in the middle. So come up to curves and click on surface. Zoom in, Just save that a second. And select our, let's go for the other one, this surface here, add edge. Click the edge, click the next edge, and then the next edge, okay that. And do the same on the other side, surface, add edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And that's wrong, it's not working, because I disjointed, so cancel that. And try again, add edge. So let's try this edge, this edge, and this edge. Still got a problem there, so let's cancel that. And I'm going to select this edge here, come over to the curves, and we're going to use the split curve. So we made a split in there. Let's come back to the surface and see if we can use that. So that split curve there. So let's select that surface, just hide that surface. I've got the split curve. Create a surface, add edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this one. And that's created that there. So there's a little trick for you. So just split that curve there. And that's taken that edge nicely. Okay, that. And then we just come back in. Where was that surface? That one? No, lost surface. Split curve, blend surface, there we go. That surface is back. Now we can bring back in the other surfaces. So we're gonna close up this face partly now. Come in here, all these surfaces that you see Highlight them all, press spacebar to bring them back. You can see that's sitting in there. We need some more surfaces back because that's not all of them. These surfaces here. It's a spacebar. There we go. Spacebar, spacebar. Now we can create a surface between this edge there, sitting in there, and this edge here. So this is a bit long-winded, so let's click on our surface. Add edge, this one, this one. And can we do it with this one and this one? No, we can't, so let's remove that edge. Remove that edge, remove that edge, okay. And the same, add an edge, renew surface, this one. This one, okay. Now I'm doing this and I'm thinking, let's carry on a second, but do something different in a minute. Add edge, 
this edge and this edge, okay, add the edge, this edge and this edge, add edge first, this edge and this edge. So let's close that up. Let's see if we can be a bit clever here. So let's okay that. Let's bring back the tube. So let's bring back that tube there. We've got that edge there, which is part of that. So what I can do is come into the Curves Workbench, click on that face that runs around there, and use the Extract Subshape. We've got the Subshape extracted from there, Cube Face 2, and come up to the Cube Sorry, tube face two, not cube face two. And that's come up to the tube. The tube is hidden. And that's good. So that's there. If I hide that face, you can see the internal there. Show that face again. So we've got that there. That one's there, which we surfaced. And we want the tube for this one as well. So let's come up. And not that tube, not that tube want that one, click on that face there and extract that face. So that's hidden now. We should have a face down here. That makes life a lot easier. So we've got all those. We're just going to keep that one surface there. Let's select all these surfaces and use the Paramagic Solid. So we want Tube, tube faces, all the surfaces, control click that blend surface, control, control click that surface, these, and that one, segmented surfaces, that surface, all these blends, control clicking all of those. and the last three surfaces. Let's do a sweep around, let's make sure we've got everything. Yep, I think I have. Why is that looking odd there? Oh, that's our join curve we did there to close that surface up. Done that, click on the paratric solid and we should have a solid there. Brilliant. Let's get rid of that split curve. Hide that. And these edges, let's hide those edges as well. So we've got the solid now. Which means I can right click, transform that. And we've got a nice solid model there of the pipe that runs all the way through. And again, we can go up over to the part and use, let's use another sphere. You can see that sphere is inside there. And transform that sphere. and place it wherever we want. So I want to bring this up. That's inside at the moment, so let's bring it it's just there. Okay, let's give it a bit more radius, 10 mil. And Click the solid I want to keep, control click the sphere, and do a cut. And there you go. Control Z that and get rid of the sphere. So that's how you would make something like this shape and create 
the solid object from a number of surfaces using the blend surface, the surface workbench and some part objects. So in our next video, we will actually carry on with the surface workbench and the curves workbench and use the blend surface for something a bit more interesting. Let's have a look at some helmets or crowns and create those in there. And how you would use the blend surface to create those surfaces. And I'll show you a few tricks in there to make your life a lot easier for modeling those type of objects. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash M-A-N-G zero. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.